Guys, good enough today. We're gonna talk about a movie I watched. The movie, what was this called again? Uh, Big Meets Bigger. Big Meets Bigger, or Big Gorilla Meets a Lot of Monsters. Yeah. Something like that. The movie was fun, but we discovered something in the movie while I was watching it. We discovered that the movie had some form of pacing issue. With like some scenes were like not connecting. And we have also our main protagonist, Jock Ronson, or oh my, God. my protagonist, uh, what was it? The protagonist, ah, the guy from Maui, anyway. Jock Twain, uh, uh, yeah, we call, him, we, call him, we call him Maui, that's more better. Yeah. Anyway, we have the protagonist, Maui, and type of thing, or Jock. Damn it, his name is so hard. The Rock. Just say The Rock. The Rock, yes. Perfect. Anyway, The Rock and uh, his gorilla friend, George, they were good buddies, and he is the natural person that takes care of him. Basically, a guy that takes care of him of a zoo and such. And the movie begins with, how should I say it, with a space station basically going downhill. And one of the people are like, please, can you take me out of here? And she's like, uh, the boss like, no, after you get the samples, lady. And she's like, oh, God, I need to fucking do this before the rats get me. And she finally gets the samples and runs away. And the big rat monster is like, Aah! trying to scratch it in the window. And unfortunately, she dies, but the samples live. And I'm like, I'm like this. I would just hack the system out of that uh, pod escape. I would say, I have the samples with me. Hey, can you open it? Lie, and then basically go in there and say, Haha, suck it. No samples for you, evil company. That's what I would say, basically. If I was the astronaut... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat again. If I was the astronaut person, instead of trying to get, trying to run inside of a space station filled with dead corpses and a big giant rat, Trying to grab me in my head and trying to eat me to lunch. But of course she's like, no, you need to get the samples. And then when you got the samples, you died of the crash because the window was cracked of the rat. Good, good, very good, yeah. Not so good. And she dies and then we see the pods or the experiment liquid escape from uh, its containment and fall into different areas. Falling into a river, with a crocodile, I think, and falling into a wolf, um, a wolf area where wolves are, which is basically a natural reserve, I think it is. Anyway, a natural reserve. Two seconds, I need to get my drink first. Thank you. Ah, that worked very fine. Anyway, though, so the wolf smell it, and it's like, nah, I don't like it. Then the crocodile is eating it, like, oh, no, and I'm turning to something weird creature. And then we cut back to the gorilla guy, or the gorilla George, basically sensing the same shit, and basically becoming more angry or more, you know, transforming of the liquid. And the liquid is a special substance. Spoiler warning, by the way. Anyway, it's spoiler warning. So the liquid gets into the gets into the gorilla. Damn it! Gets into the gorilla, George. Uh, Co-pilot. Yes. Maybe you could help me here. Help you with what? Maybe you try to do a new take. No, it's fine. Oh come on! I got stuck up in some certain shit. Yeah, so what? Uh... Anyway, the liquid transformers, uh, transforms the, I think, the gorilla, the white back. But the things I liked about this movie, if I go back to the movie again, I liked where they talked about the flashback with George being hunted by poachers, unfortunately. It's kind of a nice message, you know, don't hunt poachers. And our main protagonist, uh, the rock, basically beats the shadow of them and kills them. Though, to be fair, it's kind of fair. You kill the mother... We kill you. 50-50, to be fair. They shouldn't have been killed the mother in the first place, but... Uh, 
Rich bastards want to get monkey. Just to get more money. But... That's why Rock Johnson's character, or um, the Rock Johnson's character and uh, Gorilla George are very good friends by that point, because he saved him. And that was a sweet scene. Though, to be fair, that's what I think was cut out of the movie. That's a bit stupid. They cut out more of the origins of, of the Gorilla. That's sad. But anyway, we know that they're good friends, and George liked to do freaking funny jokes. Really funny jokes, actually. I enjoyed George, he was funny. And he's like, I'm lying, and he did something with his finger that you don't want to see right now. Anyway, it's the finger that you use to... Uh, I don't want to explain it. But anyway, it's a bad thing. But the thing is, our main protagonist is like, yeah, I'm regretting teaching you that shit. Wasn't it? Yes, it was that. I liked another scene where basically George basically scared the shit out of a new guy that said, Oh, I've been to Asia. Oh, I've been to this. I've been to this. And he's afraid of a fucking gorilla that didn't want to do shit to him. That just wanted to scare him. But of course, the funny thing is, we have three other characters. A nerd, a smart guy, and a chick. That I think, and my assistant, or my co-pilot, think that they would be the love interest, but no! It's just random, a random scientist, ex-scientist chick, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And now he's doing goose with my cat here. Could you show it, my audience? There's my cat, of course. He's doing goose with my cat. It's mine. I'm doing a goose with the cat, yes. It's my cat. It's my baby. No, it's not your baby. He hunts rats. He hunts birds. We hunt together now. What? Oh, whatever, just continue with the review. Anyway, though, basically shit goes down and they're like, the corporation is like, Yeah, it's my brother. You get the rat. You take everything. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to stop you. She shot Rock Johnson in the stomach. Okay, spoiler warning for the movie. We get some cool action scenes, very cool monster fights. Okay, that's cool. But most of this movie is cut out, I suppose. Oh, and also, the SWAT team that basically tried to get the wolf, which I will basically name Fenrir 2.0, with very sharp pig fangs. Or not pig... Uh, what was that animal again? Um, Crocodile? No, a porcupine. Porcupine. Oh. Yes. Because it shoots, like, it shoots like porcupine shots. And it's a freaking combination with a flying squirrel. That's just genius. That's not gonna backfire on your ass. Oh, it did. And also we have Negan in this movie, awesome. Negan has uh, one of the funniest scenes. <clears throat> Hope you enjoy it, anyway. One of the funniest scenes of Negan was basically when he was confronting the villain's brother and saying, Oh, we can trade. I get the computer. You, I will take the rat and computer. You can just go to Texas and whatever. I will not hand you. And he's like, yeah, I know something is going to fall on your ass. And what do you think about that scene, my co-pilot? Say I some think, words. Where did they get three helicopters from? Yes. He got a freaking medevac. Okay, 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 okay that, that's spoiler warning, spoiler warning. Then, spoiler then the helicopter was destroyed, the second one, they just happened to have it there. Laying around. Worked. And then the third and helicopter, that... a freaking Apache strike helicopter, just, <laughs> just conveniently <laughs> aimed at the alligator happens to be there. What the fuck? That was actually one of the scenes in the last third of the movie where they were fighting. Yes. Actually, one of the best scenes was when the villain chick is like, Oh, I'm gonna take everything. I would have acid her. Yeah, actually, that's a question. Hey, villain, a question to Maze. Or villain, whatever. The question in my point of this with villain. If she wanted to acid the, the ex-employee scientist, why didn't she do that? Then it would have been solved, but of, of course, the villain is stupid. Yeah. But, who is the smarter one? The brother or the villain? The brother is just a uh, underling. Of yeah, sister. but I don't understand this. He's like, oh, thank you, Negan. And Negan is like, yeah, son, you're dead. 
Like, Negan was the best thing in this movie as well. Also, Rock Johnson as well. He's like, I don't want to stun you. You know, guys, I thought it would end this way. He's like saying to the guards, seriously, guys. Yeah, uh, the Rock is... Uh, <laughs> I, I love the Rock. He is a great actor. Uh, the last movie I saw with him, called Jumanji, he was so goddamn good in it. I, I mean, didn't watch Jumanji. You have to watch Jumanji. He does the... He always pulls it off so goddamn Okay, brilliant. say it to the audience. Don't walk out. Say it to the audience and... Rock is the best. But he is the best with every movie. If the movie has the rock in it, it's the best movie ever. Not exactly. It's depending on how you view it, of course. Yeah. The but there were some funny things. Okay, this review is basically flying around everywhere. Yeah. What did I say? Spoiler warning. Uh, but anyway, what do you want to say about the scene where the chick was like in the space station? She was like... Give the samples, and if I was the chick running for my life from rats, which I said before and talked before, you know. Hope you enjoyed the review, even if it's, what should we call it? The bigger and, what is the review called again? Well, the, well, the thing is, the problem I find... The movie the, has no pacing. Uh, well, yeah, that, that's what the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. The, 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 the they most had a simplest cool. thing is that the animals grow, but the gorilla grew like two or three times its size. Overnight. That's impossible. That's would, impossible by would, logic. He would by least, nature. He would at least have to eat two or three times his size during the night. Which is impossible. He killed the grizzly bear, but he didn't eat it up. How the heck did he grow? <laughs> is he going for magic or something? <laughs> Fine if it like, took a month for him to grow that size. <laughs> Even that could be too much. But God damn it, overnight. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, that was funny! That was funny! That was funny! The sad part is that the gorilla, I actually, you know, you know what's funny? I actually felt more for the gorilla than the bad guy or even the crocodile, to be fair. Though, to be fair, I enjoyed the wolf. If I go back to the wolf now. I enjoyed the wolf and I wonder what it would be if it had kids. That would be awkward, to say the least. What do you think? Yes. Though the kids would have an advantage in nature. Yeah, also there will be... Though I wouldn't, w I wouldn't even wonder what the dating would be. Uh, wrong questions. Anyway, though, anyway. Uh, that was my idea. I yeah. talked about it in the movie. Video. I was like, awesome wolf though. But the thing is, the military is like, shoot at it, shoot at it. Have they not seen any fucking kaiju movie? It only grows stronger for every bullet they absorb. It's like, hmm, more bullets. They have vitamin bullet. <laughs> but anyway, the point what I wanted to say about this movie, it was funny. I liked definitely The Rock Johnson. I like the ex-scientist. But did you see the reaction on the villain? He's like, George, eat her. It's like, dude, you have never made this gorilla kill someone and now you want to? Yeah. Though to be fair, she deserved it. Do you know what? I wonder what she thinks in her last moments. She was like, oh shit, my life has ended to this. I will now be shit of a monkey. <laughs> what do you think she's thinking? Though to be fair, did she, did she... Do you want another question about Rock Johnson? Did you expect that he would take a fucking bullet? Yeah, he got shot <laughs> in the stomach. And I'll then... Tell it to the audience, sit here and just say it in front of the camera here. He got shot in the stomach, and then nothing happened for the entire movie. As if he was not <laughs> even shot. What? Straight into the stomach, and she, he's here, like... Here! Here! In like, my area, here! The thing is, he pulls it off. He's like, I don't think she hit anything important. Like, let's not jinx it. But that's not his fault. He is not the one that wrote the line. It's the writers. They yes. wrote in... They, lit, they literally wrote in... Rock, the girl, rock gets shot in the stomach and survives. <laughs> Without any medical treatment. Another whatsoever. question: How did he think that it would be logical to shoot a freaking rocket launcher? The, 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 the thing is, like, if you think <laughs> this about movie it, has no logic. If you think about but it, it's he, funny. It's funny. He got sucked. In, he got shot <laughs> into his bowels, so he was literally spilling out shit out of his hole in the stomach <laughs> for the entire movie. <laughs> of course, the audience didn't want to see that. Another question: How did they think that a uh, freaking? Yeah, we need to end the review. I know you. The review will be a bit longer. God damn it. One thing I wanted to say. What do you think about the military? They were like, Yay, we need to go there! And the general was like, Yeah, now we need to have help from Rock Johnson like he wanted. 
Yes, after 20, 40 guys yeah. dies with no reason. It's basically, oh, it's basically if I wished, actually I wished in the movie that the gorilla would go to Donald Trump and eat him. Yeah. I actually wish that. The, the, the thing is, like, if they were not certain, if the artillery, you know when the artillery struck them with the yeah. mine query. Yes. If, if they were not certain that the artillery was going to kill them, why didn't they call in the Moab first? Just or be better, sure. called that freaking, freaking, uh, what was it, World War II type yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, that, that's Nazi a Moab. That's a mo mother of all bombs. Why didn't they call it that in first, yeah, just to be sure? Yeah, but what is that sure? plane? What is that plane called? P boomerang plane. The no, boomerang plane a, that they used a, in Iraq. It's a B2 bomber. Yeah, B2 bomber. The, why did they not use that? Why didn't they ask it in the beginning? Because if you think about it, they waited until it entered a major city, and then they're like, yeah! Let's bomb the shit out of that city and kill everybody inside <laughs> no, it. Because we did not want to evacuate them. <laughs> what? They're like, let's not evacuate the city, let's bomb it instead. <laughs> That's Japan for you! That's sad! That's unfortunate, because that shows how Americans are stupid. Yeah. In some aspects, because... You know what's interesting? This reminds me of one thing. In World War II, if Japan hadn't surrendered, this is actually a history fact in one way. They would have sent them 240, uh, uh, 24 bombs that they had in store to Japan, and it would be like, Japan doesn't exist. Though, to yeah. be fair, it would be interesting to make it in a book. Yes, in a book. What do you think? Well... That would be interesting. But anyway, another question about the wolf chase. Yeah, the cool wolf chase. We need to talk about that. Oh, uh, no, the cat is wearing Fucking your... cat! Move out of your ass! <laughs> Not to show the ass, you cat! <laughs> okay, that's gonna be a unique part of the movie. Or my review. My cat is in my camera doing shit. No, don't come back in here. No, don't. Don't come back into the camera, you uh, he's gonna, he's gonna tip the camera over. Ah, whatever. The cat is my cat. That's my cat suited, by the way. Yes. He hunts everything. Oh, oh! Fucking cat! Cut that. I think we have to end it here. Yeah, but let me just tell one thing about the chase. What do you think about the chase, if you, we go to your opinion? That's the last thing on the movie. To be fair, we'll give this movie 10 for action. Yes. Story... <laughs> Story I will give at least, to be fair, I will give it a 5, half. It was... I, I will give it a 6. Another overall. question for you. What would you say if you were the space chick in the space station? Would you like... Oh, yes, I have the samples. I would lie. Bye. Uh, I would do that. I would rather yes. not be chased by a fucking rat. Yeah, well, I would just say that. I would be like, yeah, I, I, the sample's here. <laughs> yeah. Open the door now. Because, like, they cannot check it. They're not in the space station. No, they have the camera, though, so that would be fucking screwed over. No, the, the entire station, the, the space station was destroyed. And even they said, like, something like, uh, yes, yeah, I we see they... here you have not disconnected it. You'd be like, yeah. Uh, no, I have. The space station is fucked for the rat. I have it here in my yeah. hand. They'll be like, yeah, okay then. This movie has a lot of <laughs> Yes, but which scene do you think was cute? Also, uh, one scene that I... Okay, I've said it before in the review, yeah, yeah. But one scene that I think was cute. What do you think about the scene with the poachers? With the gorilla? Like, seriously, why did you cut those scenes? That makes more sense to bond with the gorilla. And then the gorilla did a 180 and said, Oh, I'm not dead. Being fucking pierced by a... Yeah. Being pierced by a freaking... Okay, this is actually a good movie for one. One good thing. Yeah, I know I have ended it. I know, I know. I know I'm blabbering, but... Yeah, we need to end it, I know. Let me just say one thing. It's basically Batman versus Superman, but it should have ended. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with yes. you. But, one question in my question. What do you think about those poor bastards that became wolf food? They were like, where's the wolf? Oh, it's deers running away. But they were, they were mercenaries. They were like killers. Oh, mercenaries. Yeah, so it's but, fine. But seriously, like, to be fair, the guy like, die! And he's like, oh my god, he's eating me. Ah! They are murderers, those guys. So I, I'm okay with them being killed. And then the question is, where the fuck were that child in the end of that movie? That little kid like, oh, mom, I'm having you. And like, oh my god. You would literally bomb a United States city. <laughs> Yes, to end three creatures. It's crazy. And did they make a sequel? What happens if the rats live? Tell me about that question. Anyway, we ended here. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Advidizen.